Hi! Welcome to 7 Fact. If you like geography or history, this place is for you. There are hundreds of videos on this channel about this world's countries and states and history subjects. So please, do subscribe. Madhya Pradesh is the second largest state of India, right at the heart of the country. By size, it's about as big as Italy, with over 72 million people living within it. Before the year 2000, Madhya Pradesh was even bigger. Back then, it also included the current state of Chhattisgarh. Today, the state is doing well, thanks to its deposits of diamond and copper, the largest in India, and a booming tourism industry, Madhya Pradesh's GDP has been constantly growing above the national average. People fell in love with the lands of Madhya Pradesh a long time ago. Some Stone Age rock paintings found in the Bimteka rock shelters are estimated to be some 30,000 years old. But it seems that our species of humans weren't the only ones to call this place home. Isolated remains of Homo erectus were also found in the Narmada Valley, indicating that this place was inhabited by a human species since the Middle Pleistocene, up to 800,000 years ago. Founded in the 16th century, the town of Orcha is truly a hidden treasure that seems to be frozen in time. Most of its monuments have retained their original grandeur, so a walk on Orcha streets is like traveling back in time. I thought about listing the places that are worth visiting, but that's just a waste of time. The forts, temples, houses or ruins are all a must-see and can truly give you an experience like few other places on Earth. Madhya Pradesh is an incredibly diverse state. A big portion of the population belongs to countless different and ancient tribes, and some districts are actually dominated by tribes. The number of languages and dialects spoken in Madhya Pradesh is also far too big for me to list them here. Just remember that if cultural diversity is what you seek, Madhya Pradesh is a prime example. The Kajuraho group of temples may be 1000 years old, but I bet they would surprise you and maybe even teach you a thing or two. These temples are famous for their explicit erotic art. Of course, over 90% of the artwork is about daily life and symbolic values in ancient India, well that doesn't matter. That 10% of erotic sculptures is what made the place famous. The group of monuments contains 25 beautiful temples and are indeed worth visiting. Just keep the kids at home for this one. The largest national park in Madhya Pradesh is the Kanha Tiger Reserve. This sanctuary has been instrumental in rescuing several local species from extinction and is of course famous for its beautiful tigers. But you should also probably know that the author Rudyard Kipling drew his inspiration for his famous stories in the Jungle Book from this park and another one, Penj, also in Madhya Pradesh. Well, at least, that's what the park managers say. He never actually visited these parks. However, these reserves do look like they belong in Mowgli's world, so one can understand how this claim was born. Madhya Pradesh has another big and impressive city that looks like it came from the past, Gwalior. The city is surrounded by historic monuments, forts and museums that take you back in the bygones of history. For that reason, it has become a prime tourist destination in the state. But unfortunately, Gwalior has a big problem – pollution. A study of urban pollution in 2016 found the city to have the highest level of air pollution in India and the second highest in the world. Particulate matter from the burning of garbage and fossil fuels make breathing the air of this city a serious hazard. These were 7 facts about Madhya Pradesh. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to support me, consider becoming a patron. You'll find the link in the description.
I hope to see you next time. Bye.